Welcome to Sarah Crew. Our team, made official in 2002, has been competing at some of the highest levels that rowing has to offer, including state championships as well as the U.S. national championships. We have collected multiple medals at the state championships, and our lightweight eight recently finished fourth in the nation. However, in order to achieve such great heights, you must first learn the basics of boat handling. When initially picking the boat up off the racks, hold the boat at waist height. Then, once the coxswain gives the command, raise the boat to your shoulders in order to walk the boat out. The coxswain may then tell you to put the boat into slings. Put down the boat in an overhead position and roll it into the slings. slings ready. Down. When the inside portion of the boat is exposed, the boat is considered guts up. Up and overhead, it's ready. Up. To put the boat guts down, raise the boat above your heads. Show which side you will be on by showing heads, then slowly put the boat Raising into slings, down. all on the coxswain's command. So the coxswain is going to be one of the shortest guys, smallest guys on your team. Uh, he's going to sit right here and steer the boat. He has two, uh, this one string and he's going to steer the boat with that. Uh, little adjustments will turn it. Um, he has a cox box that would uh, go through the speakers and they go in here. Um, the rowers, they sit right here on the seats. On the seats. Uh, you have uh, shoes and... Uh... No, no, no. You go like this, on this side. There you go. No, no, that's upside down. Watch, like this. The best way to do it is put the bottom on first and then let it slide in. Now a coach or a coxswain or someone who knows how to do it is going to go and check the boats to make sure they're all tight. Okay? So when you tighten it, you have to make sure it's tight with two fingers, not your entire fist. You don't want to tighten it too tightly or it could snap the ribs inside. Alright, this is the most important part of the rigger, the part that moves. This is called an oar lock. Okay? It's called an oar lock because the oar sits inside. This hinge here is called the gate. You open it by untwisting it and sliding it open like that. The oar rests inside like this and it hinges back and forth. To close it, you simply just close it. And that, as they say, is that. This is oh. Hey guys. No No swear. You want to sound like a professional team, not a bunch of animals. We're now going to strap down the boat. When you strap the boat down, be sure that the straps are on straight and there's not any wrinkles in it. Um, make sure also that this metal part does not have contact with the boat. You don't want to scratch the paint. Alright, when you put it on, make sure that it's completely tight and put the strap first underneath, around the two straps, and pull it through like this. And then on every time you put the, the strap through, make sure it's extremely tight. No, no, that's not the way you should do it. Okay, as you can see, the way it's tied now, the boat moves around quite a bit. And it's loose, and there are... Y'all know me! <laughs> I'm too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love. Love's going to leave me. Japan.
Too sexy by far 